When tough times hit, I turn to my justice co-conspirators and friends at the Broadway Advocacy Coalition for solace, for guidance, and for sustenance to stay in the fight. Our final honorees, Trinity Church Wall Street, know this dynamic well, exemplifying more than a community of faith. Trinity's community is a community of change. Here to accept the award is Neil Coleman, the executive director of Trinity Church Wall Street Philanthropies. The last four years has seen a dramatic expansion of Trinity's grant making, with Trinity now one of the biggest and most strategic New York City funders in advancing racial justice and combating homelessness. Before coming to Trinity, Neil was a vice president at the Rockefeller Foundation and led the public affairs office at HUD during the Obama administration. Please welcome to the stage, Neil Coleman. Thank you. It is a great honor to accept this award on behalf of Trinity Church Wall Street, our rector, the Reverend Phil Jackson, and our vestry, several of whom are here this evening. I'm also joined by staff colleagues, and I want to particularly appreciate the members of the racial justice team who work most closely with our colleagues at Vera. The amazing Susan Shaw, Tasha Tucker, Chevenise Dietrich, and Jazz Milligan. They are such a powerhouse team doing truly amazing work. At Trinity, we seek to walk alongside our grantees, to provide funding, yes, and also to convene, to offer space, to provide capacity building, and to raise our voice in concert with yours. Five years ago, Vera took on the Byzantine, bureaucratic, and biased NYCHA policies that were preventing citizens from accessing affordable public housing. In addition to a grant, Trinity offered our church building for a convening on expanding access to public housing for people with conviction histories. That led to a pilot in NYCHA, followed by changes in NYCHA rules, which need to go further, and the basis for the work that Vera is now doing with HUD and public housing authorities nationwide. It also led Trinity to form Faith Communities for Just Reentry, bringing together nearly 50 faith leaders across New York City to call for a more just reentry system, including access to health care and stable housing. That is walking alongside our grantees. And this is the work that Vera has been leading for 60 years, developing just anti-racist solutions so that money doesn't determine freedom. Trinity Philanthropies is honored to be funding in alignment with the Ford Foundation, the Joe and Clara Sai Foundation, and many others in this room. Through funding, through advocacy, through organizing, we must all work to close the hell of Rikers, as Clara so powerfully described it. And to end mass incarceration. And we must dream and work for the alternative community that we want to see instead, because that is how we achieve safety and justice, true safety and true justice. Trinity's commitment is to build community, a beloved community, in our own neighborhood of Lower Manhattan, in New York City, and globally. We do that by investing in neighborhoods and communities, Investing in mental health, especially for our young people. Investing in affordable housing rather than shelters. And investing in schools rather than jails. That investment can 
and must be financial for sure. Philanthropic investment, corporate investment, government investment. And it must also be mutual investment in each other as people. As Archbishop Desmond Tutu said, my humanity is bound up in yours, for we can only be human together. Let us together recognize the humanity of everyone. Realizing a justice system that is fair and communities that are healthy and thriving, full of grace and generosity for each other. Thank you again for this award to Trinity.